In this video, I'll show how to use L'Hôpital's rule to find some limits if we have the, an indeterminate form. And specifically, there are two types of indeterminate forms where we will use L'Hôpital's rule. The indeterminate, indeterminate. That's when we end up with zero over zero or infinity over infinity. Let me show you how that works. Let's say we have the limit as x approaches some number. It doesn't have to be going to 0 or infinity, but just going to some number. And we have one function in the numerator and another function in the denominator. And, and that's our problem that we have, some general problem. Now, if I say if we plug in c, if f of c over f of oops, over g of c if we plug in c there if that equals 0 over 0 or if that equals infinity over infinity i know we can't equal infinity but you get the idea if we plug in x and, and we get it, uh, infinity in the numerator or growing without bound in the numerator and growing without bound in the denominator these are both indeterminate forms and when we have either of these indeterminate forms then and we can use the l'hôpital's rule i can just say it with an american accent as well l'hôpital's rule then we can say the limit I'll write it in a different color the limit uh, as x approaches c of f of x over g of x equals the first oops not yet the first derivative the limit we take the limit all over again but we do something to the numerator and the denominator we take the first derivative this is kind of bizarre that this even works um, but you'll just have to trust me on it. It works. I'll trust, trust L'Hôpital. He says it works. We take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator. There's actually a very elegant proof to this. But anyway, we take the, um, the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator, plug the number in that we were originally taking the limit of, and we, we can get it. We, uh, if we had an, uh, an indeterminate form before, guess what? Um, this solves it for us. And it may not, on the first try, we might have to take a second derivative of the numerator and denominator. But here we go. Let's try it out. I will say that this equals, necessarily, using L'Hôpital's rule, the limit as x approaches 0, that's some number c, of the derivative, the derivative cosine of x over the derivative of the denominator, which is one. Now, that limit equals cosine of zero, just plugging this in, cosine of zero over one, and that equals one over one. So in the end, our answer is one. The limit, our original limit, equals one. And this has come up before, the sine of x over x. You've probably seen that uh, already in calculus class. Let's do the next one. This is indeterminate form because this actually equals limit as x approaches infinity of x over e to the 4x. All right, what I did this there is I made it a fraction because e to the negative 4x is the same as 1 over e to the positive 4x. So that, that is legal, what I did there. Now we have, if we plugged in infinity, we would have infinity over infinity. And that is this indeterminate form. So we're going to play this game. We're going to use L'Hôpital's rule right here. We're going to take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator. So we'll say necessarily this equals the limit as x approaches infinity still of 1. That's the derivative of the numerator over, we're going to use the chain rule here to find the derivative of the denominator and that's e to the 4x times 4, so 4 times e to the 4x. Now, if we plug in infinity here, we no longer get 
we no longer get um, infinity over infinity. We have 1 over infinity. So if, if this is like 1 over infinity, I won't say equals there because it bothers me to say something equals infinity, but if that is um, 1 over infinity, then sure, we can just say, hey, that's, that's like 0 really basically one over something very large it, it approaches zero so the answer then to our initial question what is the limit is zero now you won't always get answers of one or zero when you use l'hôpital's rule but you will you will be able to um, simplify some stuff or or get out of this indeterminate jam that you were previously in and l'hôpital saves the day.